Hey guys, what's up? This is Jared from Jared Gaming, and I'm going to teach you guys how to build a lumber yard. And when I'm talking about a lumber yard, I'm talking about where you cut the wood and turn it into planks. But not only for that, this is made for an RPG server for a woodcutter. This is where he would take his wood back, turn it into stuff, and then sell it at the market. And that's what this is meant to be. I guess you guys can put it on anything else, like a creative server, if you guys really want to, to have buildings. But it's mainly for an RPG server for the job of a woodcutter. And where he would work and stay. Okay, we're about to get started. Okay, so now we're going to start with the wood cutting base. So what I'm going to do is make that, that, turn the stair around, and add a little walkway up. Okay, so I'm going to make this 15 blocks long. Stupid cow. Okay, so let me just count this. Okay, so it's 15 blocks long. Now we're going to do the backward stair again, and then two. Then two blocks. Then skip one, two blocks, and backward stair. And it is another 15. If you guys were wondering what that backward stair was, it's 5. So, now we're going to come over here and do another stair piece. Okay, so, take that up by 3 blocks. You guys can use dark wood or oak wood. Okay, now we're going to go back to the cobblestone. And we're going to make the roof. have a little bit of an overhang. Okay. Come over here. Gotta add that overhang. Okay. Just a little bit more. mean to do that this is mainly just going to teach you how to build this piece and then a little bit of the other house and then we're going to go to part two i didn't want to make it too long and in a moment here i'm about to skip to daytime i'm just going to add and the rest of the roof let's delete that and then we'll add the stair roof and then we'll well i'm going to skip to daytime then we'll go to do stair roof so i'm skipping to daytime now and we're going to add the stairs on the roof. Now, I don't know if I told you guys, but you guys don't have to use what I'm using. You guys can use anything you guys want. I'm just showing you guys the basic step on how to do it. I'm using wood and cobblestone and dark wood, but you guys can use stone bricks, wood, and light wood. Or any kind of wood you guys think that you guys would like, or anything like that. It doesn't have to be just my design. I'm just teaching you guys the basic design on how to build what I am building here. Okay. So now I'm going to start working on the inside. We'll come back to the roof in a moment. Okay. So on the outer part, we're going to do a line of cobblestone or you guys could pick stone bricks with wood hanging and this kind of makes it look like that's already sawed wood that went through a sawmill and all that on this side too then run another line on both sides now we'll dig out the middle and run down another line and if you guys really want to, you guys can make this fully operational that, you know, moves the wood and makes it look like it's cutting it and stuff. But I'm just doing this, and this is like the wood that you guys harvested, and it's just mainly about design. I'm just making it look nice. And on the other side, that makes it look like you guys got that wood, and you place it there, and it gets cut into the wooden planks. 
Okay, so now we're just done with that, and I'm gonna here. I'm gonna make like a wood, make it look like you, you know, cut down trees and stack, lay them down in piles. So I'm gonna do that right now. They look a little bit small, so in a minute I'm gonna make them a little bit longer. Let's add one right here. Yeah, let's make this a little bit longer. Okay. So, in a minute, we're going to get started on the house. But, oh yeah, I almost forgot. we got to fix the roof. Just add slabs on top, and wham, it's done. Okay, so I'm just looking and seeing. We're gonna do this and then skip five, and then on the sixth block, we're gonna put another one, and we're gonna do that four times. So that's two, that's three. So there's three gaps. We need four gaps, I think. Let's do four. Four gaps. Okay, so I'm going to use white wool to separate it for right now. I'll come back and replace it. If you guys want to, you guys can just replace it now. I'm going to use stone bricks. So, now I'm trying to, I want this to be uneven. So, I want to do, skip four blocks on the fifth block. Yeah, let's do that. Skip four blocks and then on the fifth block. I'm just making sure that it's an odd number because that makes the roof uneven and I like that and you'll see what I mean by an uneven roof in part two. So I'm going to again place white wool just to separate it for now. Skip five and on the sixth block match up the other wall. Okay. And that's it. Now I'm just going to add the white wool to skip. I'm to leave a space between it so I don't accidentally place something in between there. Okay, let's take that up three extra blocks high. I think that'll do. So it's a total of four. Now we're just going to take it up an extra three. Okay, so I'm going to get my stone bricks now. And I'm just going to delete the white wool and replace it with the stone brick, like I said I was going to do. Okay, we're almost done. Oh, I messed up over here. Let me fix that. Okay, now it's time to do the trim work. So we're going to need the dark wood. Well, actually, let's just fill this in first. So we have a floor. Can't wait till Darkwood planks come out for the Xbox 360. That's what I'm so excited for. They look so nice. I'm tired of these oak wood planks. The 
If you guys want me to build anything for you guys, just leave a like, subscribe, comment on what you want me to build. You don't even have to subscribe. But that'll make it a little bit hard for you guys to see if I actually did it for you. But um, like, comment, subscribe. It helps out a lot, guys. Um, at the end of this video, there will be a link to part 2. And there's also on a video on how to build an airship. Bye, guys.